Hey there, in today's video, I am talking you through the steps I take to paint, not paint, but I use soft pastels, so messy stuff um, to make a portrait in my art journal. I kind of wanted to talk about how I do it and the steps that I take, and I'll try to do this in other mediums as well. I thought I'd start with the soft pastels because I hadn't used those in a while and it was really fun. I worked on top of some collage papers, so there was a lot of texture and it, you know, it had a fun result. So anyway, I hope that you enjoy this and that it is helpful to you to kind of see the different steps, not just in, you know, I'm not fast forwarding it, but like I have in the past, but kind of talking you through what I'm doing. And if you have any questions or if it makes would make sense to talk about it a little bit in further depth, let me know that as well because I can do that in future videos. But And I appreciate you watching. So for, for now, let's, without any further chit chat, let's get started. I have all of the dry medium that I think I'm gonna use. I don't know, I have a lot. I have soft pastels and charcoals and woody stability and pencils over here, uh, Stabilos and water soluble things. And then I decided to, I, I almost always work from a reference photo. It just works better for me. I like to know, it just gives me a place to start. Will the end result look like this? No, but I just, I like having something to reference. It just makes the process, I don't know if it's easier, uh, but just if I were to make something just out of my own mind, the person would probably look the same every single time. So I like having a reference photo because it helps me do things a little bit differently each time. So I'm going to set her photo over here out of the way so that I can look at it. And I'm going to tell you I'm working in my art journal. It is... Um, collaged and then I put a coat of really light gesso over the top. I think you guys know I love working um, in with a lot of texture and so this this allows me to do that. And this is probably a very non-traditional way to use pastels in these different medium but uh, as a mixed media artist that is the beautiful thing that you get to just use whatever you want. So to start I'm going to just grab maybe a I like to start a little bit bold because what happens is if I started with a pencil, I would be really tight. It would be like really tight. And th by that I mean, it would be like I'm trying to get all the measurements in right. I like to do it very loose. And so I'm going to grab a, I'm just gonna grab a blue. Let's find a blue. Let's do this blue right here. And I'm actually gonna take this little wrapper off sometimes. Well, maybe not. I get down to the little nibs and I, the wrapper's got to come off. So I'm going to just loosely, like let's say her eyes are here, a little bit of an eyebrow. And I don't know, you know, what colors end up at the end. And then her mouth maybe is right here. So her face is coming together. Maybe that's a little bit small, but that's okay because that's kind of how I started. And then... Um, I'm just gonna bring her jawline around and I can make adjustments as we go along. I'm gonna use some water, that's her chin might be a little deep there. And then I'm going to outline her face even though I know that in the reference photo, her hair covers this part over here. But I just wanna kinda of get the basics in. And then a little bit of the neck and her neck kinda of comes like this. And then it goes down and then it comes over here. So. And then let's put in the illusion of a, looks like she has kind of like a tank top on. Okay, so that's that. That I didn't put in any hair. Let's do an add an ear. This one probably needs to come straight. This is probably more straight down from the shape. Okay, and then her ear would be maybe like right there. So, okay, so that's kind of fun. So there's a couple things I could do at this point. I could take my, my uh, paintbrush and dip it in water and spread it or spread this around, which is kind of a fun way to, to use this medium. Uh, Cause I'm obviously not going for super realistic colors at this point. So, and then uh, I can just kind of see what happens. Let's just kind of, I just want to kind of be a little crazy because otherwise, like I said, it's really easy to make things super tight. And then it just, you lose the fun of it. It's like, what happened here? Okay, so I'm going to set my paintbrush aside and I'm going to grab a paper towel, which I wish I would have grabbed prior to starting, but I'm going to grab that now. Come over here and I'm going to take that water off. 
just kind of dab it out a little bit and set that off to the side. Okay, so now this is kind of what I'm left with and I wanna add in some, I'm gonna add in the lighter colors, which is, you know, I'm just gonna start grabbing colors that I like and spreading the soft pastel around, not getting it wet at this point. And let's add some up here. So it looks like I'm gonna mostly use soft pastel. Well, I don't know, I can add, it's hard to add in white with this kind of thing, but I do have some, some charcoal and different supplies. And I also can soften any of this. Like, let's say I wanna pull some of that up. I can just kind of come in with my paper towel and do that. But I think I, I don't wanna do a lot of that. I wanna kind of keep it, I wanna keep it um, really as loose as I can. So let's, let's add a little bit of definition in her eyes. I think her nose might be a little skewed and let's do this with her mouth. I think that forehead is a little bit shallow, but let's see what, let's just kind of add some crazy colors here. So let's bring her forehead up a little bit. Um, and I'm gonna look for some of the dark spots on my reference photo and add some of that in with this red color. And obviously it's really about when you're doing this, it is about, I am really looking at the lights and the darks. So if something is dark, then I don't, it's fine whatever color it happens to be. In this case, it's this brick red. And the light color has to be, it can be anything, um, just whatever it happens to be light, the lightest color that you have, which is typically white or beige or something like that. Now this picture had her hair kind of doing this crazy thing like that. And I can do some of that. Uh, let's see, where else do I want it? Be a little bit dark, maybe under here. Okay. Now what, let's say, Let's say I want to take some of that away. Let's just do this. And let's add a little bit here of water and take some of that away. Just for the sake of making it interesting. Okay. All right. So let's see. I really like her already. Just very, let's just keep it quick and easy. Let's take a light colored. What do we got in here? Let's dig around. There's a white. Her nose is already kind of white, so I don't need to do that. There's some light color up here. It's light around here. It's light here. Okay, so you can see, it's just I'm adding in darks, I'm adding in lights. I'm going over the top. I'm loving all the texture. I can think about what I want to do for the background now, and I haven't really even used, I haven't used a pencil or any charcoal yet. So I could come in with a Stabilo, let's say, and if say I really wanna darken this mouth area or her, let's say I wanna kinda of make that, this gap is a little big, and even her eyes maybe are a little off, but actually that's fine, you know? Like it doesn't, like I'm, I'm using the reference photo, but I'm not, I'm not crazy about how it looks in terms of, is it exact? Okay, so let's do some of this. I'm just gonna put some crazy in here. All right, so it's just kind of using a little bit of this and a little bit of that. Let's do something with the background before we kind of move on. Although, may I, see I'm sidetracked. I wanna put a little bit of white in here. Just give us, make sure we got some eyes going. Yeah, this works good for a light color. And there's a little bit of light here. Now the cool, the beautiful thing is with um, with soft pastels is the it just ah it's just so rich and beautiful. Like look at this luscious color. Let's this is going to be my background, okay? So I'm going to put some on, and I'm sure there's you know the pastel people out there they know the right and wrong way to do it. I just know that I like it, and I like <laughs> to use it. However, however crazy it might seem or look, I use my hands a lot, and so this is what happens. So but I'm liking, I might add a little bit different color along the edge here, just to kind of fill that all in. And let's give her tank top. I made this all blue. And you see how that blue just kind of, at first you're probably like, that was crazy, what were you thinking? Um, but 
it just really, ah, I love it. Okay, let's make her tank top. There's just so many beautiful colors in here. Uh, maybe this aqua color. And let's see, let's just have it come down like this and around. And we'll just kind of smush that in. You like that, smush? I think smush is a good word. I think it must go down. We're not seeing that part of her arm, but let's give her some arm then. Let's see, what color would her arm be? Because we've used these other colors, I guess I could add back in a little bit of this blue since we've made some of her skin blue. Um, okay. What else do we need for her? She, I like the way she looks. I'm going to pause for a second because, and then come back to my, my I'm going to rinse my hands real quick. Normally, I would not have washed my hands. I don't, I don't really care if the color smush, but because I'm on camera and I'm trying to do an example here, I'm trying to be a little bit better. So I grabbed a lighter color again. I'm going to go over this uh, part and we're going to give her a little bit more of an eyebrow. Maybe I need to come in with a different color. Her jawline needs to come down here a little bit more. We can soften that. And let's just kind of go over this whole part. I think for whatever reason, we're, we've lost some of her, uh, the look of some of her. So let's give her a little bit darker. And let's move these eyes down just a hair. And let's do, let's use this. I think this is a Conte stick. Let's kind of rub that in. And let's move, let's get a dark, we need a dark color here. Let's do this dark color above her eyes right here. And then give her new eyebrows. Okay, she does look kind of sad. I do say, I will say, I a lot of the, a lot of my portraits, now this black mark, I'm not sure, sure about, but I'm sure it's from the, um, the collage from before. So that's what happens when you just allow that you're working on top of something. So sometimes you gotta let that happen and see where it goes. So unfortunately, that makes it a little bit more complicated in terms of why would her mouth isn't really lining up with it. <laughs> but what I could do is, you know how some people kind of have two little marks, so let's add another one and make her lip. Let's give her, let's give her a natural lip line here. Let's just kind of make this. Okay. Okay. There we go. Um, and let's add in some lighter color. It's back and forth, lighter and then darker. Now I will say using your fingers like this, you hands get so dirty, you do sometimes like I earlier had to wash my hands. Like I said, when I'm doing it, not on camera, I just keep, I just kind of go for it. I don't, I don't worry so much, but I know that eventually I'll figure it out or it will all work out. Okay. Let's see. There's a little bit of light here and her jawline does come down. So the, that's the nice thing about working from a reference photo is I can kind of make adjustments based on the image I'm seeing versus if there was no image, then, you know, it's a little trickier. Okay. Now I'm going to make her hair crazy like in the, in the, um, the reference photo and I'm trying to decide if I want to go back I want to use black or if I just want to use a dark blue. Let's use a dark blue. So we're going to come down and it's going to come around her eye and then down. Actually cover some of her eye. I'm losing the red, but that's okay. And I don't have her ear in there. And that's okay too. This is really dark back here. I think I'm gonna use the paintbrush, come in with a little bit of water, 
to just kind of mess that up a little bit. Add some different layers here. Okay. And then underneath here, it's a little bit dark. And then coming across here. I'm wondering if I've made her neck too narrow. I think this should be neck here. Dab off some of that. So it's kind of back and forth and back and forth. And let's just kind of go over that a little bit. Just looking for all the little dark spots. So she has a, and you know, like I said, this was in this, this line right here was here. So I'm adding another one kind of over here to see if that can, that'll help because otherwise it does kind of look a little weird. Okay. And let's grab a paper towel. It looks weird, doesn't it? <laughs> okay, we're just gonna keep trying. We're just gonna keep seeing what we can do. Okay, let's bring this nose down a little bit. And then I'll add in our dark spots. This, there is a dark line right here. Let's gently put that in. And let's grab a lighter color. Let's see, I'm gonna soften this a little bit. The water kind of makes it less movable. Uh, so which is good and bad, because then once that happens, it's tricky to, to do any, it wants to sit on it like, like uh, paint a little bit more. Let's see. Okay, so she's kind of coming together. Let's bring that chin up a little bit. And I think the hair doesn't go out quite. Where's that? Where's that crazy color we used earlier? Okay, I think her hair comes out and around like that, a little bit bigger. So. And then on this side, Kind of puffs out here and then comes straight out. Okay, bring that red back in because it's kind of fun. And then this needs to be dark, dark, dark. Okay, and I just got <laughs> I just got something on her face. But you know, that's kind of how that goes. So now she's got like some color right there. All right, what do we need next? Let's add in a little bit of white here, a little bit of white above her eyes, a little bit of white here. I'm gonna use, not the white, I'm gonna use this creamy color. I think that work, works better. I think I like that better. Now I'm gonna add in a little bit of the dark of her nose. Uh, I'm gonna down. I can feel my hand in something wet, which is that red. I think I'm going to dab that. And let's add this. This is supposed to be kind of her arm. Make this a little bit lighter. 
Then the blue, I think that's good. And this, I'm gonna make a little bit lighter there. And here. There's a little bit of hollow right at her neck. I'm gonna use that blue. And then her collarbone right there. So I think we're just about done. This wasn't, this is just like a fun, a fun sketchbook piece. I'm gonna add her highlights and her hair. Move them in with my finger a little bit. And I'm gonna add in some more dark here. This part is pretty dark. Hint of white. I think I'll have her kind of looking that way. The light is hitting her this way. So there should be a little bit more of a shadow over here if I can find a slightly darker. That's the problem, I shouldn't have pulled all of these. I should have just chosen a color palette, which is the smarter thing to do than pull all your soft pastels. But I actually thought I was gonna use some more of these, but it is, it's super fun to use your pastels in this way, and I like it. So it's been good just using more of those than some of the other things, okay. Now I think I'm getting a little too crazy because I'm wanting, <laughs> I'm perfecting it. So I think this is the time when you have to start, you have to go like, okay, it's good enough. This, is, this was a fun exercise in using pastels, doing a quick sketch. And I think that is good for now. I just wanted to talk you through it, show you kind of how I, my thinking process I think I will go over the background with some water and then I will call this good. I hope that helps you kind of see how I would make a portrait in a, a non-painted portrait using soft, primarily soft pastels.